Hey everyone. Society teaches us to laud the idea of being tough. They tell us to soldier it out, to push through whatever challenges we face. Life comes with different phases and we were created by God to pick ourselves up after each fall. We're created to press and be resilient amidst various circumstances. And that is wonderful. But unfortunately, too often, this means exuding more energy than what we actually take in. My name is Iberica. Welcome and welcome back to Motivations and Memorial Thanks for coming back. My thought for this week as I pray that you will have a great one and one that will teach you some new experiences is that you can't pour from an empty cup. Now, simple mathematics and mechanics suggest that if the energy we put out is greater than the energy taken in, there's going to be a problem somewhere down the line. In other words, in Jamaica, we would say we're going to pop down. The pressures of meeting every need, taking care of everything and all at once to makes us forget that the most important individual in the matrix of life is yours truly. Yes, you and you and you right over Dessa, as we say in a Jamaica. Not only do we take home the bacon, we go out and we earn for the bacon, we carry it home, but we also prepare the bacon. And after we've prepared the bacon, we turn around and we feed others the bacon whilst we are in one corner, many times starving to death. So we're falling out of perspective with our own selves so often. I can't do math, you know. I can't do math to save my life, believe me. But I'm intelligent enough to realize, and I know that you also are intelligent enough to understand that nothing from nothing equals nothing. Hey, let me remind you again. It's time to introduce yourself to yourself. You've lost touch with yourself because you continue to pour out all of your substance everywhere and to everyone. And because of that, you've not even realized the changes in your own lives. You've not even realized the changes your bodies have made. And that for years, you aren't even enjoying many of the things you keep doing. You hate the job that you're in, but you do it because it pays the bill. And so every day, you literally drag yourself to work not enjoying a bit of what you do. You continue to pour into some relationships that are literally shrinking you way down that you have no self-esteem or you just have a little tops left. Relationships that are squeezing and squeezing everything out of you. You're not grapes, so you're not about to produce wine, but squeezing everything out of you that is running on the ground, wasted because there's nothing preserved to catch it. It's time to return to the filling station, guys. You're no longer the best version of yourselves because what you have been pouring is now creating havoc because nothing is really left in the cup. Dregs is what is there. And dregs, my friends, have no use to us, neither to the recipients. Imagine that you're a director, a manager, a supervisor, a pastor who is leading a congregation or someone who is leading a ministry, a part of the men's ministry, the ladies' ministry, youth ministry, whatever type of ministry within the congregation. But all you're pouring into those you lead is dregs. The settlement, the residue from the substance that was in the cup or the container. Guys, have you ever put a cup to your mouth and it, whatever is in it tastes so good that you're just gulping it down and gulping it down until the substance have reached the bottom, the residue, and you begin to gulp down the dregs. Tastes awful, feels awful in your throat, don't it? Yeah, man, chokes you and makes you cough, right? Mm -hmm. I've had that experience and I know that you have. Guys, dregs block us from thinking and hearing what's happening around us, and most importantly, from hearing the voice of God. It's time to go back to the filling station, guys. 
It's time to get back in the secret place of the Most High. The songwriter said, there are days I like to be all alone. With Christ my Lord, I can tell him of my struggles all alone. It's time to get down and personal with our Creator. We have to get back on the table. Get back in the potter's house. Alone time with God and ourselves. So that our thoughts and our minds will be renewed. So that we will get rest mentally, spiritually, emotionally and physically. A refilling, guys, will refocus our visions and enrich us so much that we will again be able to impact the world by what we will pour out. You can't pour from an empty cup, my friend. Get back to the filling station. I encourage you this week to step back and to look in the cup. See what's in there. The residue is not going to help anyone. And so it's time for a, a refilling. My prayer for you this week is that you will go out and be replenished as you replenish that cup so that substance poured out from it will be able to help others around. Have yourselves a great one. Walk good. Share this video with somebody. And remember, subscribe if you have not yet. And I'll see you next week. God bless.